I want to give you guys our final thoughts on today so maybe it could help you guys plan your trip when you guys are in Cebu, Philippines. We have a really, really epic day planned. We're headed to the Taoist Temple, the Temple of Leah, and we're going to get some really famous food here. It's called the Jolly Bee. We've made it to the Taoist Temple. temple is one of the most visited non-catholic shrines here in Cebu as well as the entrance is meant to replicate the Great Wall of China. The temple was also built in 1972 together with the Chinese community. We're done walking around the Taos Temple and we're now going to go down and see how much it will cost to get to Sarao Garden and the Temple of Leah. So we managed to find a taxi. He said he'll take us for 1800 for both uh, Tams and I. So I think that's a good deal. I'm not sure. You guys let us know if that's more than what we're supposed to be paying. to the beautiful Shago Garden. It is absolutely amazing in here. It is so colorful, so bright. It's like magical. It's really amazing. Take a deep breath and rest for a while. We're gonna get there. Try to let yourself hope like a child. We're gonna get there. We can reach out on the uncertainty. We're gonna get there. Sarao Garden is mainly known for the Sarosia flower. It's a fiery flower because it's like long and looks fierce. <laughs> but this place is technically your Instagram hotspot. There is so many places to take pictures. It's so beautiful. And then you get the beautiful mountain backdrop as a view. Like that is just perfection by itself. So if you're really into beautiful photos, a fab Instagram feed, or you just want a great view, this is the place to really get all of that done. We're now on our way to the Temple of Leah. We've just made it to the Temple of Leah. It is very stunning here. It does not feel like you're in the Philippines. It really like transports you into something out of Shoe might see in Rome or Italy. It is wow. It's definitely yeah. Uh, it's it's a hundred pesos per person, and then you'd have to pay fifty pesos for parking for the driver. So in total, it's two fifty pesos for us. The signal here is horrible, so we can't actually find the full depths into the background into the Temple of Leah but what I do remember reading is that the Temple of Leah is actually quite new uh, don't quote me um, it was done uh, completed in 2020 and most of it is marble and there was a gentleman who actually built this for his undying love dedicated to Leah
finished walking around the Temple of Leah and uh, it started raining really hard so we're off and we're back on the road. So our amazing driver Joel just dropped us off at our Yala Mall that's close to our accommodation so we can have Jolly Bee and Hello Hello. It's Christmas and I'm opening a lucky bag. <laughs> this is rice and pepper beef. And over here, we ordered spaghetti and chicken. I'm not sure why, but we saw a whole bunch of people ordering the spaghetti. So we we're like, let's give it a shot. Spaghetti has, uh, it looks like little sausages and grated cheese on it. The spaghetti is sweet. I don't normally have sweet spaghetti. Let's try the chicken. The chicken's moist, it's tender, it's crispy, and the flavor is so good. This chicken, 10 out of 10. The pepper beef's okay. The flavor's not very like strong and pungent. It's got a subtle flavor, but the flavor is nice, but it's subtle. We found a place that has halu halu. Can't wait to try it here. It looks really, really good. Everyone here is actually ordering it. The restaurant they were at is called Chow King, and it seems like it's really busy. So hopefully it's good. So apparently you're supposed to just mix this whole thing up. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. Fruits, ice cream, uh, pudding and then ice at the bottom so you just mix it up and then we'll see how it tastes it Tastes similar to the one that we had in mobile. I think the one in mobile is actually better than this one uh, I don't know. I don't know what's the difference same flavor, but I don't know that one just tasted better We just got back um, from getting some groceries and we want to give you guys our final thoughts on today so maybe it could help you guys plan your trip when you guys are in Cebu, Philippines. So if you're headed to Sorrel Gardens, it's 70 pesos to enter. It is beautiful and it's definitely your Instagram photo spot. So if you're just going there for the view, there's a better view at the Temple of Leah, which is really, really mm -hmm. nice. You get a beautiful view um, of, this, of the city as well as you get a walk around Temple of Leah, which is really, really nice. So, um, and that was a hundred pesos to enter. Um, the other thing that we forgot to mention is how do you actually get there to all these places because they're actually not close. They're not in Cebu City. Yeah. They're quite a, a, a drive out. Uh, we recommend taking a taxi, mm -hmm. even though it's a little bit more expensive. I think we paid on the more expensive side because yeah. when Tam's read some blogs, it said they paid a thousand to one and a half thousand pesos. Yeah. We paid one thousand eight hundred. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason why I was willing to pay the one thousand eight hundred was because he said he would take us to a whole bunch of places yeah. um, for the one thousand eight hundred. So I'm not sure if if the one thousand was just to one location or to, or how many locations. So yeah. And then uh, Jollibee, um, the verdict was. It was okay, but the chicken and the rice, if we had that as a combo, total thumbs up. That was like amazing. Um, and then the hello, hello, that the, for some reason, the more we ate it, the greater it got. So I think all hello, hellos are nice. You just have to have like five or six spoons and then it just starts really getting amazing once they're all mixed in properly. So we are gonna end it here and say goodbye.